weeks than say run blocking. Oh, uh, it's the same, you know. Just but we're just trying to make sure we fix the little details in our pass blocking sets and things like that. But it, that hasn't really changed. Like we haven't focused on one more than the other. They're both key parts, you know. We we have run first team and then we set the run up, uh, the pass up with the run. So. Urban said he's been emphasizing pass blocking. Uh -huh. So what? in what ways, if you're still working on it equally, in what ways is the coaching staff emphasizing it? Just they're critiquing us like really hard okay. on our techniques and things like that and making sure we're doing the right things. Jamarco, what was the offensive line room like the week after the Penn State game? Uh, you know, we kind of dropped the ball a little bit. You know, we had a rough game and that's not who we are. We protect the quarterback and we run the ball and we take pride in that. And so, you know, we had to regroup and get focused and go out and get ready for that game last week and then this one this week, and we were able to do that. I mean, it seems like you guys turned a corner very, very quickly. There wasn't, you know, there weren't any growing pains in that. I guess, how does that happen? You know, it wasn't so much as, it was small things that we were doing wrong that were fixable. And I mean, we still have mistakes, so we still fix, like every week, we still see stuff in film that we need to correct. But it wasn't like major things that was wrong. It was just small things and it all came out at one point, which you don't want that to happen, but it did. And it's kind of a good thing that it happened because it came out early, better early than later in the season. And so we are able to correct those things. Can you give an example of one of those little things? Um, you know, just footwork on pass pro. Footwork is really important. So that was one of the big things that we Jamarco, when a game like that happens, I think people just sort of naturally like look at the tackles because you guys are kind of on an island out there. I'm just wondering, it's your first season as a starter. It's the first time you've maybe kind of felt the heat in that way. I'm just wondering what it was like for you to, to go through that personally. Um, you know, it's part of the game. Uh, like you said, playing tackle, you're on an island and you have to be able to protect that island in a way. But uh, it wasn't, it's, it's just a part of the game. You, you can't, you know, dwell on it. You got to learn from it and move forward. Is there they any played games with you guys, though. I mean, they ran some stunts and twists and things like that. And until you go through some of that, uh, do you really, you know what I mean? You have to experience some of those things to get yeah. used to them. You know what I mean, Jamarco? Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, like I said, it was a great learning experience. You know, you hate to have it happen with the loss, but uh, it's, it's, it was great to learn from. We got, uh, got to watch the film and fix those technique errors, so that was good to learn. From. And what was it, in, in what regard? And is it more of a be patient? I mean, or, or be alert? What, what what were the things you really had to you know to realign, so to speak? Some of both, you know, seeing stuff early uh, from the defense, and then you know, like I said, like footwork and things like that from a more technical standpoint. You guys, glory. Billy Price is pretty respectfully combative when he talks to us. Um, I, I, it makes me wonder what he's like with you guys uh you know Bill, billy is a guy like people go to you know any problems like the first thing i remember from uh billy was my first summer we was working out and we do like push-ups at the end of workouts and i couldn't do any more push-ups and billy crawled underneath me and like did push-ups with me on his back like that's my first memory of billy that was like my second week here i'm in there <laughs> probably about to cry because I can't do any more push-ups and he crawls underneath me and he's doing the push-ups on his back. Like that's just the type of guy he is. He's always there if anybody needs help or you know just want to talk or anything. You know he's a great guy. I love Billy. 